Hello dear friends, welcome again to my YouTube channel, Geotechnical Engineering Consultancy Tips. Today I will be telling you all about probable methods of seismic design hazard analysis and concept of pile foundations failure in liquefiable soils after earthquake induced liquefaction. <laughs> Introduction The current state of art for dealing effectively with the seismic performance of soil structure systems depend upon the seismic design and analysis of pile foundations in liquefiable soils, which can actually be done by following three distinct design methods of assessment. Number one, pseudo-static analysis which studies the static response of pile foundations to the pressures and displacements caused by liquefied ground. Number two, seismic effective stress analysis which is studying the seismic response of piles to a strong shaking accompanied by the development of high pore water pressures during liquefaction. The pile foundations undergo substantial shaking while the soil is in a fully liquefied state and soil stiffness is at a minimum. During this shaking phase, the pile is prone to suffering severe cracking or even fracture. Probabilistic seismic hazard analysis, PSHA, which is termed as PBEE framework that is performance based earthquake engineering is quite common these days, specifically requiring evaluation of deformations and associated damage to structures in seismic events implies assessing the level of damage that is the detailed evaluation of the seismic response of earth structures and the soil structure systems. Now, the performance based design of pile foundations under seismic loading means that seismic loading is an imposed deformation. Therefore, the deformation demands for a chosen earthquake layer will be quantified for a structure. However, the failure of pile foundation depends on inelastic pile behavior under certain conditions. Now, the concept of failure of pile foundations resulting in tilting of superstructure. The fully embedded and wearing piles passing through saturated loose to medium dense sands which are prone to liquefaction and resting on a hard layer can buckle under the action of axial load alone if the surrounding soil liquefies in an earthquake. The stress in the pile section in such case, cases will initially be within the elastic range and the buckling length will be the entire length of the pile in liquefied soil. However, the buckling is confined to a critical length of pile depending on the relative stiffness of pile and soil. Now, the lateral loading due to slope movement in, and inertia results in increased lateral deflections which in turn can cause plastic hinges to form reducing the buckling load and promoting more rapid collapse in these pile foundations. Therefore, the piles in liquefiable soils need be checked against Euler's buckling. <laughs> now, the last paragraph of this, the instability of pile foundation depends on the slenderness ratio L effective upon R minimum that is the radius of the pile, minimum radius of the pile of the pile exceeding a critical value in the liquefiable region. Once the surrounding soil has its effective stresses eliminated by an earthquake, a susceptible pile starts to buckle in the direction of least elastic stiffness. If the soil around the pile remains liquefied for long enough periods, the pile undergoes gross deformations and the superstructure either tilts or deforms. <laughs> Now the evidences from past studies. Past analytical studies have indicated that large bending moments develop in critical areas such as at the pile head when it is fixed against rotation and the boundary between liquefied and non-liquefied layers. The analysis also indicate that if a stiff surface layer overlies the liquefied zone, then the moment and deflection demands of the pile may be substantially increased over the case when the stiff upper layer is not present there. Restraint against pile head rotation has a significant effect on the response of piles in liquefied soils when the surface layer liquefies. The pile cap displacements may be up to three times larger if the restraint is low compared to full fixity. If an unliquefiable surface layer covers the liquefied stratum, large kinematic moments develop in the pile, especially if the surface layer is stiff and relatively thick. After liquefaction, the surface layer tends to move as a rigid body and drives the pile to greater displacements. The increased displacements and the greater fixity against rotation of the pile head are therefore responsible for the increase in the moments developed. Therefore, the need to determine site response analysis for liquefied soil profile wherein the residual soil 
strength of liquefied soil is ascertained so that the performance criteria parameters of pile formations are fulfilled based on the following criteria that is the pile remains safe after any such occurrence of earthquake induced liquefaction number one is the acceptable horizontal displacement of pile cap which should be within the limits prescribed for the design purposes and the safety of the structure number two margins to the elastic limits is specified in terms of shear force and overturning moment at the pile head and acceptable residual response beyond the elastic limit of piles number three piles have sufficient embedment in the non liquefiable layer below the liquefiable layer to achieve fixity for safely carrying the moments induced by lateral loads in such earthquake kind situations where liquefaction occurs number four piles have sufficient capacity to carry the axial load acting on it during the operating basis earthquake obe motion and safe shutdown earthquake sse motion without buckling number five which is the last point the settlement of foundation due to loss of soil support should be within the acceptable tolerance limits as prescribed by relevant indian standard codes or other countries respective codes and should not induce and bearing failure in the pile so dear friends hope you would have garnered some more knowledge about the concept of pile foundations failure during or uh, during earthquakes after the liquefaction has occurred i hope you would have loved this lecture of mine keep on subscribing to my channel youtube channel geotechnical engineering consultancy tips thank you thank you very much